Okay, let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which is the set of all strings a to the i, b to the j, c to the k, where i plus j is equal to k. So here, the number of a's plus the number of b's is equal to the number of c's. There's no more c's than that, there's no fewer. It's exactly the same as the number of a's plus the number of b's. So therefore, we need to somehow relate each a that we make here with a single c over here, and every b that we make with a single c also. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, what is the base case? Well, the base case is the empty string. Because if the number of a's is zero, number of b's is zero, number of c's is zero, then that equation works. Zero plus zero equals zero. So we need the empty string right here. Well, let's think. Well, if we are going to generate some a's and then c's, one thing that we might try is something like this. A, S, C, every A matches with every C. And then do the same thing with the B's. Every B that's made matches up with a C. And this seems reasonable until you notice the fact that we can apply these rules independently of each other. We can apply this one, and then this call to S could then call the B one, which then calls the A one. So we could have some mix and match right here. But the language right here says that all the A's come first, then all the B's, and then obviously the C's. So the way that we can think about this is that since the A's are at the beginning, what we can do is do all the A work first, and then once we're done, switch to a different variable, which makes all of the B's, and then we're done at that point. So instead of doing this, let's switch over to a different variable, let's call it X, and then X is going to do the similar thing, but for the B's. So let's do B X C or empty. So at that point, we've matched some number of A's with number of C's, but once we're done with the A's, the number of B's must match the number of C's that need to be made. And so we have a very simple grammar that matches the number of B's with number of C's, and we marry that up with doing the A stuff up here with the S variable. And so therefore, this is a quick and easy grammar for A to the I, B to the J, C to the K, where I plus J is equal to K.